Yeah, we've got a pretty dry week ahead for the most part. There is one little hiccup. We'll talk about that and when it's a good safe time to get the most bang for your buck at the car wash. But yeah, this morning had some nice sights across our skies. A lot of welcome rain across southeastern Wisconsin. These storms made their way all the way over from the Dakotas last night across Minnesota and into Wisconsin this morning. They, of course, did come to an end, but we did see some impressive shelf clouds. Take a look at this one. Brian Burns sent this beautiful panoramic shelf cloud to us. Also did see some wind reports that were a little bit on the impressive side, especially south of Milwaukee. Kenosha picking up a 57 mile an hour wind gust. Pleasant Prairie 52 mile an hour wind gust. We're seeing a little bit less than that 36 miles an hour and officially at the Milwaukee airport only a 31 mile an hour wind gust. So didn't see as much damage north of Milwaukee. Didn't see as much rain north of Milwaukee either. Milwaukee again picking up a quarter of an inch. Whitefish Bay, Fond du Lac only 1800. Cedarburg 1700. Out in Sullivan about a third of an inch. Uh, Kenosha Oak Creek closer to about a half an inch of rain and of course that shelf cloud got things really dark really quickly but then that rain went through and the rest of the day shaped up to be an all right day. 79 degrees is where we're supposed to be. We were still above that 81 degrees for our high today and a very warm start to the morning with an overnight low of 69. Temperatures will be a little cooler than that overnight tonight behind that cold front responsible for this morning's rain, but it's still warm a little bit muggy out there right now. 72 in Milwaukee still have the southwesterly wind. Eventually tonight that wind changes around to being from the northwest and that will knock these dew points down. So we're going to knock this moisture out of here at least temporarily. Take Take a look at the muggy meter. We'll take a little bit of a dip as we go throughout your Monday. It's going to be slightly comfortable for your Monday, but then Monday night and into Tuesday gets a little stickier as well for the start to your Wednesday before another cold front comes through. That's going to bring us really nice conditions for Wednesday evening all the way as we head into the weekend. Part of that is thanks to high pressure settling on in. That's going to mean light winds and pretty calm, quiet conditions to start off our Monday. So not a whole lot to show you on future forecasts. Starting off with clear skies, 40s though up in the north would to kick off the Monday. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit on the crisp side up there for us by the afternoon hours. We'll talk about sunshine and 70s calm, quiet wind as we go into Tuesday starting off on the dry note, but it won't end that way. Tuesday's the one day out of this week, work week at least, that you may want to have the umbrella. A couple scattered showers move on through. Here comes the more impressive cold front, not in terms of rain, but in terms of dew points. So Tuesday's going to be a little sticky again by the time we get to your Wednesday, though, and into Thursday and Friday. Very comfortable, pleasant conditions ahead. For tonight, though, 64 degrees again. Clearing skies could see some patchy fog with our temperatures close to our dew point and light winds overnight. Then 79 tomorrow, more sun, a little bit less humidity. We get into your Tuesday, though. The humidity returns back up to 82 degrees with a chance for a few afternoon showers and evening storm possible with the cold front sweeping through. That rings out the humidity and brings us beautiful weather. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, even Sunday's not looking that bad. Rain chances are very low, so I say if you want to get the bang for your buck for car wash Wednesday is the day to do it. What a great stretch though. That looks yeah. awesome. August we've had way worse.